There was about four to six inches of snowfall last night in Denver, but our flight is still on time. Um, I'm always we're stressed on. on time. <laughs> yeah, we're on time. I'm always stressed on time, uh, but your sister drives like a maniac, so we got here quick. Um, so we're about to head on the flight. So we will see you when we land in Tucson. We are gonna skip this cold weather. Look at this look. Look at this. What is this snow? In the in the tunnel. Next time you catch us, we're gonna be <laughs> without a shirt on. Right now we're spitting smoke in the tunnel, and we'll be in 80 at the airport weather. with no shirt on. <laughs> in the airport with no shirt. Tucson, here we go. All right, we are here in Tucson. We have just landed. We have traded that snowy weather for 70 and sunny. Yuri, how do you feel not having to go to like Tulsa and where it's like snowing? Man, this is unbelievable, man. You look at look at this view. Come on now. I see cactuses right in front of me. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah, I'll man. turn around and show you all the cactuses or cacti. There we go. Perfect. Out here. Come on, man. What more can you ask for now? We're not in Tulsa, <laughs> good. we're in Arizona. It doesn't get much better than it, this. It doesn't. And yeah, just like we said, good conditions, 70 and sunny. Um We'll have two trainings tomorrow and then one on Sunday, and so we'll update you on the way through. One more thing I kind of want to hit on, it came up last video, was that no, these trials are not free unless you are invited by the coach or the team in some specific way. Um, so most of the time you're going to have to pay for everything. You're going to have to pay for the tryout fee, you're going to have to pay for a hotel, um, food, Uber, you know, transportation, all that stuff. So you're going to be paying it, um, all of it. So about $500 uh, to $800 per tryout. So it's not cheap at all. Um, this tryout, we actually stayed with some of my family, so it was cheaper. Um, most tryouts, I try to see if I can stay with people, obviously because it cuts down the cost. So if you guys can use your resources, call any friends or family that might have you know, connections in the area that you're going to, then that will help you out a lot. So um, if you guys do have any more questions, please hit them up in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because I will be putting out vlogs and training videos every week. All right, beautiful day here in Tucson. We are off to training, so we will see you guys when we get there. Alright guys, so what is going on? Uh, first session is done. We just went from 10 to 12 and they split up um, the teams into five fields and it was 6v6. So we did a little bit of small sided today in the morning session. Uh, I'm not sure what the, we're going to do in the afternoon section, which is from 4 to 6. Um, so like I said, there was five fields and it was 6v6. So that's 12 each field. There was about 60 to 70 players um, here at the tryout. At last time in Tulsa, it was about uh, 50 to 60 players um, so it's about the same um, how did you feel Yuri obviously it's more ideal conditions today oh yes the weather is much better than it was in Tulsa uh, great fields a lot of great fields um, just like any other tryout you're just gonna have your good things to the tryout benefits and bad things about it so this is how pretty much this is how every tryout is all of them are pretty pretty similar 
Yeah, so pretty similar. Most of the tryouts are around anywhere from 50 to 70 players. I have been to tryouts um, like in Sacramento that were over 100 players. Um, so it is trying um, kind of hard to stand out, but we do tend to make um, the last teams in which they want to see more of the players. Uh, so we'll get you updated on this afternoon session from 4 to 6. So we will see you in a bit. Hey Yuri, the vlog wants to know if you're getting more street tacos. Uh, street tacos, yeah, I'm gonna get probably five more. Fill this tummy up, baby. All right, so what is going on, guys? We are in downtown. It is about eight o'clock at night, um, and this is after the afternoon session from four to six. Um, after that morning session, we just kind of went back, ate some Jimmy Johns, and uh, fell asleep. We just need to take a nap. Uh, it was pretty straining. Uh, the first session. So the second session we played 9v9, uh, so it wasn't 6v6. It was uh, opened up a little bit more, but they said tomorrow we would be 11v11 from the 10 to noon session. Um, so we just got split up into different teams. We were actually on the same team this morning, which was cool. Yes, we were on the same team this morning. It was uh, pretty lucky. It, it wasn't planned out like that, so that was that was really cool. But in the afternoon session we were, we were on different teams. So. Uh, how did you feel that the afternoon session went? It was, it was alright or? The afternoon session? Uh, the afternoon session was pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. good. And they have uh, grass fields. So it's it's really cool. It's a nice surface. Um, green grass. It, you know, we're not playing on turf. We're, we're so used to playing on turf that it's just nice uh, to kind of switch it up. We're playing 80 degree weather while it's snowing back home. Life's amazing, Yeah, man. 80 degree weather while at the airport we sat on the runway for two hours with six inches of snow. Didn't I, I didn't think we'd get out here, but right now they got something called Second Saturday going on, so we'll show you uh, some clips of that coming up. Yep, roll the clip, baby, bang. <laughs> What's going on it is uh, about 9 a.m. in the morning we have training at 10 so we are about to leave here um, the trainings from 10 to 12 like I said it's supposed to be 11 v 11 today so it's gonna be opened up um, it's also gonna be decision day to see whether he wants any players to bring into preseason or not uh, so we'll give it our best effort and we will update you after the training in the morning <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? So today we are done from the 10 to the noon session. We played 11 v 11 the whole time. Um, there was teams split up on three different fields. So we had um, six teams on three fields. So like I said, there was about 60 to 70 players here at the tryout. Um, like I said, that's pretty normal. Um, so this whole tryout, we ended up just playing, you know, from small sided 6v6, then to 9v9, then to 11v11. So it was just a steady build up to that full field point. Um, we're pretty happy with our performances this week. Uh, so we will just have to see what happens with these trials is that the coaches are just going to say, you know, we're going to assess the players that we want to pick and bring uh, to preseason and then they'll contact you. Um, you're not really supposed to contact them unless it's like thanking them for the trial. Uh, so you just have to kind of sit there and wait. If nothing comes within about a week, it's going to be a no-go. Um, so a lot of these trials, if you guys are going to go to these trials, uh, most of the time 
you're probably not going to make it the first trial, the second trial, or even the third trial. You guys are probably going to have to go to a couple. I mean, a couple of you might make it your first trial. You never know. Uh, that's why you got to take these opportunities because it's basically right place, right time, good opportunity. Um, if you're a good player and you want to bid on yourself, then I would encourage you to do these open trials. The coaches need position-specific players, so they might be looking for a striker, a winger, a right back, a left back. You, you don't know what the team is actually looking for or what they need in their team. They might need a versatile player where you know the player can play multiple different positions. Um, in this trial, I actually played uh, right back, left back, and center back, so I showed them you know, that I could play different positions. Yuri actually played... Uh, center back the first day, which is not his normal position. He's usually a center midfielder, um, usually a box-to-box -box player. Um, so yeah, like I said, we'll just have to see. And uh, right now we're probably just gonna go get some dinner and then our flight is at nine o'clock. So that's it for this trial. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the Tucson open tryout vlog and I will see you guys next time. Gotcha!